What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I like to test my string lights, specifically the WS2811. You want to test these lights before you put them in your track, before you put them uh, on your house or within your um, uh, installation, whether it's your mega tree star or, or anything else that you're putting up there. Um, I found that uh, trying to have this done when it's already installed, it's a more pain in the butt uh, versus testing everything on your bench before you put everything on hand. So the basic premise of these pixels are three colors. We have blue, red, and green. Mostly all colors are made up of RGB. So I figured let me do a quick sequence we're going to use the uh, effect in WLED called Tri Chase, and I have them set to red, blue, and green. Let's plug these in. So I have these in the three color chase mode, so they'll switch to all three colors very quickly, and you will know whether or not your pixel is having an issue if one of the colors doesn't change and look like the rest of them. So quickly, it's on uh, max speed for this effect. Let me show you this uh, effect settings. So these are my effect settings. Um, you can see the effect speed. Uh, we have a tri chase and we have it set to three colors, red, blue, and green. And we could even do a peek to see how they're flashing. I still have a few more strands so let's go ahead and uh, pop these off and pop in another set all right we took those off now let's pop in this set and when they're still bundled in you can quickly see if any pixels are having any issues you'll notice one might not turn the right color of blue red or green So there we have it. We tested out a couple of string lights. Uh, what is this? About five bunches on our Digi Uno as well as our 30 amp 12 volt power supply. Guys, if you like videos like this, uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, again, um, I wanted to quickly put out a video, show you guys how I test my LEDs before I put them into production.